Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome as well. We're going to be taking a look again at Hemsa Metro, uh, the essentially train or metro simulator that takes place in Seoul, South Korea, uh, on one line, but there's several trains now and, and several kind of subdivided lines. Uh, anyway, there's been several major updates. I think I made a video on this back in August uh, after their first major update. Um, if, if you would like kind of a tutorial or you're new to the game or you haven't seen it before, I'd, I'd recommend going back and checking that other video out that I made back early August, I believe. It, it's a bit of a tutorial and goes over a lot of basic things. Uh, this, I'm just going to be going over the update um, as a whole. There have been uh, quite a few things added. So, I believe the latest update was November 7th, so just a couple of days ago, but they've been working on quite a bit of things uh, in the meantime. So we've got new scenarios plus revised original scenarios. The map's been enlarged, uh, the line down here, by I think about 10 kilometers. Uh, you got two additional playable trains, uh, enhanced EMU modeling. The signal visibility has been increased a bit. And you're going to get new stations as well. So I think there's five new ground level stations. So above ground, not the, the metro part, which is down here, I believe. Or up here, actually. Um, not only that, but the scenarios have been un unlocked. So before, you kind of had to start up here. And if you didn't get it right, guess what? You had to do it all over again. Now, you can just select whatever scenario as well as whatever train you want to do. So it's completely unlocked. Uh, so these two here are the new playable trains. These three were up to this latest update you could do here. These two are the new ones. And of course you can choose any of these that you want and then select a scenario. Um, so there's, there's three scenario categories now. What's considered the locals express and Seoul station to Singchong, uh, which which is like an express train with stops as well. Uh, and there's also a new high speed HTX train as AI. Uh, now, something else that's due to come, which did not come in this patch, which would have been nice, is the Guro Depot, which is a pretty massive depot, which Hopefully soon you'll be able to take, uh, you know, cold and dark multiple units to and from this depot into service. Uh, but that did not come with this update, sadly. So the green, there are two of them right now, I believe. Yeah, so the green, these are straight up express right here. And this is the new bit of the line. Actually, I think it's between here and here. Uh, let's see. The red, I believe, is the Seoul Station to Singchung Express. So it's an express, but it's uh, you know a lot less stopping. And then the blue, I think, is the original or OG uh, line that you could do. So starting up here is obviously the underground bit. Uh, and then the rest of it, I think, till right about here is when you're above ground or this curve here. But uh, there's been quite a bit, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, we're going to do a quick run from here uh, up to here. Uh, sort of an express, there will be a stop in between. We'll go ahead and select one of the new multiple units. Uh, something else I'd like to add, which I didn't know if it was available before, but now you can do key mapping. So before, I don't know if you could do this. I went ahead and set it to something I'm fairly comfortable with, which is Train Simulator. So I've got my reverser WS, DNA throttle, brake semicolon, uh, apostrophe, all that good stuff. DSD is still space. Now you can choose to leave that on and actually hold it down, but my thumb gets tired personally and my thumb wanders from the space bar. Go outside, want to take photos, look around, stuff like that. So you can just uncheck that now and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about the DSD anymore, but if you want, you know, hardcore play, just go ahead and leave it on, but we'll go ahead and check out this new uh, this new run here. So we'll go from I don't know the station names. Um, I think so. All right, so we'll do this one. We'll hop in this guy here. So there's two new ones, like I said, these two here. We'll do this this one here. It looks a bit like this uh, older one here, which. 
I think looks pretty nice. We'll do the straight up express portion here. Um, check out some of that new line. That's the sun setting. Looks very nice, by the way. It's a good looking little game, you know, to be, I think it's like one or two people. And I am going to turn down the the physics effect will kind of make the screen shake. It, it almost seems like you got lag, uh, so I'd recommend keeping it somewhere in between. Um, or at least it works for me anyhow. Alright, so here's the exterior of this one here. This looks pretty cool. We'll check out the other one uh, after this run here. So we'll go ahead and hop in. Like I said, if you want to any kind of tutorial or know how to operate these things I'd, I'd recommend going and checking out the other video that I made because uh, it explains that uh, in slight detail but there's also a nice guide that someone put together on the steam uh, group discussion community area page uh, on the steam page for the game so anyway um, so I have the DSD just on all the time by default. So we'll go ahead and pop the lights on here. Oh, hit the wrong button. Let's try that again. Alright, so we are on AC power now. You can see the switch down here below AC DC. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and throw it forwards. We are ready to go. You can see on the, uh, the little monitor over here. Let's double check. Yes, we are. And some of these new stops don't have stop boards, so you gotta, you know, you gotta be careful where you stop or the doors may not open. So we'll go ahead and come off the brakes here. And get scooching. And, you know, I don't know what the, the speed of these lines are, sadly. Um, you know, I doubt it's just max power as, as much as possible. Uh, but, you know, if you hit a, a section, sort of, it's it sort of acts like ATC, the American Safety System, uh, where these little these little rings right here with numbers will light up, and you'll get a buzzer, and you'll have to match that speed, and I think fully break uh, until you hit that speed. So we'll probably get caught out by that because I certainly don't know this this line and these safety systems as much as I'd like to. Something else we got to keep a lookout for is uh, neutral sections. So just like if you're familiar with, uh, I'm just going to use, you know, UK uh, rail as a reference. You'll have uh, neutral sections. In the old days, uh, you know, you actually had to reset. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go already. All right, it already got us. It already got us. Was that the neutral section? Did I miss that? All right. So we have this sort of a tutorial. Think of it like that. So you see the little red indication down there. You is in trouble. You're not going to move. So what you got to do is throw this thing in neutral. Emergency brake. Notch, you'll see EB. And as soon as you let off, that should clear. You'll hear the uh, the brakes hiss and release. Throw her back forwards. And go. I don't think that was the neutral section. I guess I just passed something... Uh, incorrectly, but but sometimes I'm able to break in time uh, to get to that speed that it wants me at, and other times not. Like it's it's very brief sometimes. It's it's kind of strange, um, you know. But still working on that. It, it's hard trying to understand this as a, I guess a Westerner uh, trying to figure this out. But I've been looking into it as much as possible, looking at guides, uh, trying to translate some things. Because it is a very fun little game, and it's it seems like it's done right. And as far as uh, you know, train simulators and metro simulators and, and all that in this day and age, you know that that's few and far between. Uh, when something is really this nice, we go. Very nice. I wish those were operable, but they currently are not. Who knows if they'll ever be? This is a metro sim after all, so probably not. Got another uh, train coming at us here. So I'm assuming there's a max speed on this line. I, I don't really know what it is. Uh, some of the trains go pretty damn quick. Uh, some 
I'm usually trying to keep it at about 100 km kmh, sorry, used to miles per hour. So our arrival time of where we're going is 1833.30. It's currently 1824.51. Man, the uh, the lighting looks superb in this area. It's time of day. I love the joint sounds. Rolling over the joints back there. Switches. Check out the exterior cam. You can actually change the headlight brightness as well. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. You just hit the plus key next to your backspace. And you won't see anything happen, but if it's darker, you will see illumination uh, lighter and dimmer in front of you. And then there's also an interior cab light, which I believe is the minus key. I'll go back inside here. Yep, there it is. So it lights up a little bit. Oh, did we just miss the new HTX? Son of a gun. Let's see the back of it here. There it goes. Mm mm mm. Essentially TGV. And over the bridge. This is a very, very nice area right here. I love this bridge. So, this was already in the game. We're headed to a section that was not in the game yet. And we are on an express line, so we're going to take uh, some some nifty and neat little curves, which uh, I don't think you could before this latest update. Sounds very nice going over the bridge as well. Clackety clack. Beams of sunlight just blasting through each. Uh, pillar there. Alright, so that signal's green. And it trips me out uh, going past those signals, because you'll notice sometimes, and I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but they will actually change right in front of you and make you think you just passed a red at danger, so. I'm assuming it hits some sort of sensor, maybe a couple of feet or meters before the actual signal itself, so. Let's see if this one does it. Okay, no, it didn't do it as prominently as the other one. And that is bright. So one of the cool things you can do is you've actually got a sun blind here. So your page up and page down keys. You can lower that. You don't want to lower it too far. But uh, the sun is, is, is pretty deep right now. So it's almost useless unless you want to drive like that. But I, uh, I'd rather see what's going on here in the world passing by. And one of the other things you can do, I don't think I mentioned in another video, is... So go to your exterior view, hit 5, get rid of the HUD, hit 3 again. And the camera will go stationary as if you're just standing somewhere and watching a train pass. Oh, look at there. Another high speed coming at us. And then just pop 3 again, and it'll lock back on. All right, I need to pay attention to these uh, signals and boards here. Testing this out earlier, and I got uh, I got penalized quite a few times. Upper level station there. There seems to be a lot of AI trains as well, which is nice. There goes another, very nice. That's always good, you know, especially if it's a, a metro. I'd imagine Seoul, South Korea, uh, this area is very, very busy. It's a very large network. So, it, you know, it's nice. Whereas, like, some games, such as Train Sim World, uh, you know, they don't feel lifelike because there's not a lot going on. And, uh, you know, I understand performance on a, a PC or, or whatever. It's got to be hard to come by adding all these additional trains, but, uh, you know, it still is what it is. Oh, that looks very nice. Late afternoon. Got a train racing off to the right there. I 
But yeah, I'd love to know these speeds. Uh, if you know more about this, as always, please let me know in the comments uh, down below. I'd love to know if you do know um, what the max speed is. I can't really figure that out, as well as when you get a, a warning of sorts down here on the gauge, the 45, 25, 15, and 0. Uh, you know, like what... If it's sort of like PZB, if you've got a a certain amount of time to react to that if it's got to be in a certain brake setting uh, I just throw it on max brake the the notch underneath emergency braking sometimes it seems to work sometimes it doesn't there goes a diesel hauled service nice check our timing here so we'll, we'll essentially know if we're going too slow or too fast 18.30, we got three minutes, almost on the nose. So I believe from right here is new, this station here. I believe this is the new section, so starting here and going forward. Nice looking wall over there. Another train, Jesus. That's uh, se several dozen trains already we've seen. Love these bridges overhead as well. And I do believe there is a neutral section. Okay, so yes, there it is. This orange board, so we need to come off the power. We're going to throw it in neutral. Uh, and the, the thing is going to start screaming at us here in just a moment. There's the whiteboards, so it's starting. So we got to shut it off. Shut it back on. Alright, we should be good. Forward. I think I got it. Okay, there he goes. He stopped. I don't know if I did that quite right, but it's, uh... You essentially gotta trip the, uh, circuit breaker there. Main circuit breaker. I believe. Make sure you have it neutral. Your reverser. And then you should be good to go. Now, I don't believe there's an actual power change there. You know, I guess it's just a sort of a speed or safety control deal. Uh, but on the other side of the line, the northern, the northeastern part of the line that comes from underground to above ground most certainly does change from DC to AC. Goes another high speed train. Another metro. This is a very, very nice scenic run. It's a factory off to the right there. Nice. So we're just cruising, 100 kmh. Nice station. So yeah, there is essentially supposed to be a, a very large yard. And I think, I think it has already been modeled. And it's up here on the right, unless we've already passed it. Uh, but essentially the developer was trying to... Uh, you know, push out with this latest update some scenarios where you'd start in there or end in there, cold and dark, sort of like empty stock move or something like that, which would be pretty cool. You know, just bringing a train into service and so forth. Alright, so this is our stop. When that little light is blinking in front of you, you need to be braking, or it will emergency brake you. Oh, dear God. Going way too fast. <laughs> totally blew that one. That's uh
that's a problem going too fast. So let's see how far. <laughs> yeah, that's not good at all. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in reverse. Pull the brakes off and just start backing up slowly. So these are difficult because, you know, it's hard to tell. A lot of the stations have those electronic boards that kind of show you where you need to stop. Uh, and you'll notice these, these stations here don't have the safety glass as well like a lot of the stations do. Let's see if that does it. Negative. <laughs> Big negative. Alright, a little bit more. Station looks nice though. The, uh, the floor and the wood benches. There we go. So maybe with these, you're supposed to stop exactly where this red kind of donut sign is right here. But, you know, it's hard to see that in the cab, so maybe you need to stop in front of it. So that is it. That's a quick run of the new section. Of course, we blasted through it. Um, you know, there's there's several stations in between here. We'll hop in this. I'll just show you this other train that's, that's new, available to the player. So... There are some stops. Like, see, we can do this one here. This was just a, a straight-up metro run just to show you what this locomotive looks like. Locomotive, multiple unit. And this is also a night scenario under the light of the moon. And it looks amazing. Like, it's not too dark, you know? The, the lights from the city lighting up and everything. It looks really, really cool. But uh, this is the other locomotive. God, I said it again. Multiple unit. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> this is the other multiple unit. Uh, I believe it's just like one of the other ones, but it's uh, just a different paint job. Maybe an older paint job that uh, that CoRail had for these. But uh, anywho, this is the other one. So we got five now, which is pretty nice. You got, uh, got a little bit to work with. And of course, like I was mentioning earlier, so you've got these stop boards over here which tell you exactly where to stop so you can open your door but on some of those those uh, station stops do not have that so maybe those are the express lines that don't have those um, yeah I'm, I'm not really sure I'm still learning this if you've got any tips for me or questions or anything like that as always let me know down in the comments but that's gonna be it for today guys just a, a quick update of what they've been doing with him sim I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch take care and I'll see you next time